What is going on there guys? Welcome back to the Huddersfield Town career mode in FIFA 21. Obviously, if you've not been living under a rock, FIFA 22 Early Access has come out. Unfortunately, I do not have access to it, so I am having to wait till the full release of the game. What is, in time of this recording, a week away. So I am going to be smashing these videos out for you guys. I don't know how far we're going to get into this career mode before we kind of have to stop it and then go into uh, FIFA 22 because as soon as that game comes out um, if I'm getting quite close to the end of the season on this I will basically make sure I end that season I won't just leave it halfway through the season don't you worry because even though the video will come out on the first um, a first video for FIFA 22 probably won't come out until a couple of days afterwards anyway so even after the full release of FIFA 22 you'll probably still get a couple of FIFA 21 videos until we get the first episode of already I've already said what I'm going to be doing in FIFA 22 uh, the first sit career mode I'm going to be doing is a creative club career mode so please I need your help go to my socials they are linked in the description and go on my TikToks and all that T just type in Hawkeye from the show on anything and you'll find out if you go on to any of my socials guys you'll be able to get involved in like the name of the team we're going to be obviously I want it to be a a theme around my gaming channel so something around that uh, obviously financial uh, the team the age all that stuff if you haven't seen what's to what's getting involved in career mode create club career mode go and check out the, the trailer for that it'll show you what you can change around the thing and then you have your say down below honestly I want your say yeah, and if no one obviously comments I'll after this kind of go on the fly but I do want you guys who are subscribed to have a say even put it in uh, the comments of this video if you'd like i'll st i see and i respond to every single comment as i always do but thank you so much guys let's get straight into the action if you didn't catch the last episode please go check it out we won our first trophy of the season the community shield a penalty shootout against manchester united we brought in two new players in our in the transfer window so far we brought in a new right back in, in emerson royale and then uh, we actually sold Anima Ida and brought in Renier. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, we brought in uh, Renier from, from Real Madrid. A centre forward, but I am changing him into a striker, a full on striker, so that will change it in due course. Uh, apart from that, I've, not, I've just sold quite a few players. Um, these are basically all my reserves are basically just young players now. There's not really any real players. Um, but apart from that, there's nothing much I really want to change. I've not got that much money. If anything, I'm looking for really, really good regions. Like I'm scouting like world class um, free agents and stuff, seeing if I can find one like who's a real buddy good gem. Um, we've got 15.9 million plus 71k in the wage, so we've got quite, we've got a little bit to work with, but I don't know if I'm going to use that in this window. It depends if we sell anyone else, to be honest. Also, if you could probably tell by my voice, I've got, I've got the cold. What's going around everywhere at the moment right now? It's not COVID, thank God, uh, but I have got the, f the flu a little bit, so it's very, very nasty. But I'm still driving through these videos. Ooh, look at this Arsenal side. They look like they've played a few, got a few new players. We've got someone called Costa in the field. Claude Maurice, who was there last season. Almeida, Brun Larson. We've got someone called Ju. Um, probably because he's a little bit tired, I'm going to actually bench Emerson Royale. And just keep the rest of the same. Put Ethan Laird. Ethan Laird. Obviously, we did lose Pippa, one of our, one of our probably our one of our best players throughout the series. We did let him go because Laird's a lot younger, got a lot more potential, and he really did impress me when Pippa was out. So I'm gonna give Laird the start. Emerson can come on later if we if we need it. But this is my best team out there. Hopefully, we can get off to a good start. Let's do it at the Kirkley Stadium. Let's do this, guys. Here we go. The first day of the Premier League, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to say thank you to anyone who's still watching this series. I love all the love and support, especially when throughout halfway through last season, I kind of went missing for about a couple of weeks. I thought this channel was going to die in that time. 
uh, and you all were just asking, where is the Huddersfield Town Career? Where's the uploads? Come on, let's do it, come on. And I uh, do apologise about that, but we are on the grind now. I am trying to get a video out every single day now. It is a little bit harder because I'm still struggling with internet c connection right now, so I'm still sorting that out. But I am trying to get this through no matter what for you guys. And we will be finishing this Huddersfield Town Career mode one way or another. But let's look at our new, not really new look team, but Ethan Laird is in there, Dixon's in goal, obviously, Inasha, Timber, and Sessegnon, Luckman, Koku, Dominguez, Danjuma, and Ivan Tony, Marlon, the usual top top two there, and they do, will not change. Renier and Emerson, the two new boys, are on the bench. Renier actually scored in the last game against us, against um, Man United, so he's got a little bit of points through, but obviously he is a little lot lower rated than Tony and Marlon, so he's got a bit to go. West Ham team, Robert, Robert Sanchez, interesting. From Greenwich, Elvedi, Mazuaku, Bruno Costa, not heard of him. Labarde, Albarda, and Bruno Larson. And Ju, not heard of him. Ben Rahm's on the bench, here is Coleman. And Benny Fabianzi is on the bench, so. Thank you. Interesting. Enjoy the game. Interesting team. We are at home. Let's hope we get a big W on the first day of the season, guys. Let's do this. Ethan Laird making his first start of the season. Oh, Sesson Young gets in there. Oh, that's beautiful. And now Daniel Marlin, he's got the pace, we know he does. And now, can he just show his pace off to Pogramiak? He's going in. Oh my god, and Tony can't get onto it. Marlon put it in a perfect position. Mazawaku. Dixon's coming out, and he deals with it, good lad. And he gets us the ball back. Dixon, you beautiful man. He really did well in the community shield as well, I've got to say, so. Got to give him credit where it's due. Oh, that's good. Lucky crap runner. Oh, that's brilliant from Daniel Marlin. Very, very clever play. Now, Daniel Marlin, he's going ahead. He's going ahead. He's going all the way. Oh, Sanchez gets it. Oh, that's a bat. 41 minutes into the game. That is the first chance of the game. Can we get that up? Inacio. Timber as well. Dominguez. Oh, Dominguez. Koku. It's off the line! Absolutely unbelievable scenes. Oh my god. Oh, and it's. I, did, I didn't realise. We've hit the bar. It's got cleared off the line. We have been the stronger team to end the half, but Jesus Christ, we should be ahead. That's a good. Good one there. And now Tony can be away. Can he get Jan Juma away? He can. He's getting trapped by Manafa. Gonna quit inside here. Oh, Marlon pulls a brilliant save out of Robert Sanchez. Is that Sanchez from back right? Because he's pulling out some really good stops. Ivan Tony! Oh, just. It was a bit of a good header there. If anyone else could have got a touch on that, it would have been good. really well they'll figure it out look man oh another save how many saves is that now oh that's brilliant that is brilliant and now Marlon to finish and finally on the 70th minute on like the centre bloody attempt we put it away for the first goal of the match Daniel Marlin, who else is going to get our first goal of the season? We have dominated this game since probably the first, first, literally the whole game. But from the first five, five, ten minutes where West Ham had quite a bit of possession, we have controlled the game, we have attacked, we defended really well, and we deserve that goal. I feel a bit sorry for Sanchez in their goal, but 
it was inevitable. It had to happen. It was either that or we were going to get screwed over. What I was worried about was going to happen. Would love a second. Oh my god, what a turn by Renier, who's just come on the pitch. Can he seal it? Oh, he puts it wide. Oh, this was a, such a clever, clever turn. The finish isn't there, but the intention is there. I like that Renier. Come on. Trying to get someone around him. Oh, Dixon's there, thank god. Get to him behind here. Oh, Renier was there, but he, he, he had a man all draped all over him. Ah, ha, ha. two minutes to go. Come on. About yes, we'll take that. Thank you. But there we are. You can tell with the match sharpness isn't there with some of the shots we were having. But you know what? Doesn't matter. We have to win games like this. And we did win this one. Come on, boys. Very, very well done. And brilliant performance as well. The performance was there. We just need a little bit more clinical behaviour up front. Dixon really, really... I don't even think he had a shot on his goal in the whole game. Fair play to him. Brilliant work there guys. Very, very, very happy with the way we did that match. I would have loved more goals. I would have loved the goals to be flow flowing by now, but we got our main man Daniel Mellon off the off the mark and again it was it was the same way how we usually get our goals. Getting a one two, get Mellon on the on the overlap, and that's how we get our goals. But either way. Uh we've got an a, an offer here for Arnold. <laughs> to be honest, we've got quite a few youngsters. I feel like I might let him go because we do need to create some space for more players. A lot of these youngsters are not going to get into the team. Okay guys, so, so we're going to simulate our first game of the season against Sheffield United. I think they just come back up from jam Championship. As I said, I will have to simulate a few more games than I would like to make sure this career mode is basically getting through quick enough so we can get to a certain stage where we can end the career mode on a good note so I'm gonna quick sim with my best team out there hopefully we can get the win again oh my god we got beat like I, I don't know what to the, the sim games are actually doing us they're just ruining it in the career mode right now these like I really don't know what to say. That's our first loss. If I played that, I'd have most likely won. Or at least got something out of it. Look at look at my bloody team. Like, seriously. I mean, I know it's knackered now. But look at that team. That team should be bloody beating a team like Sheffield United. It's just... Oh, it's atrocious. It's a fucking atrocious. I'm really, really annoyed about our result. Second game in the season as well. So there is confirmation that Alfie are one of our young players who just weren't really growing that much. We're going to sell, sell him to Barnsley. We get about a million worth in him. Um, have got... I could do with an extra striker. That is something I could do with. And I've found this guy, Dennis uh, Borowski, I think his name is. German. Um, he looks pretty good. He's 21, 73 overall. I think I can get him for a decent price. It's 5.5 million. So even if I sell him on in the future, he's still worth a bit. I think as a fourth choice striker, he should be fine. Like we can use him in Carabao Cup games. And as I said, they will be taking a bit of a back foot unless we get really deep into him. So let's get him on the books. Uh, let's hopefully. Recommended wage is 31. So you know what? I'll give him 35. Just. Just to sweeten the deal for him. Hopefully that should be all good. That's a reason why Borowski. We got a new striker. Sweet. Sweet as a nut. And I don't know if we're going to make any more 
signings. We may leave that money we got in the pot in the pot for January, uh, in case we really need it. In case we get like a big transfer, and we need that extra bit. But um, we got Arsenal now. We I, I want to get a little bit of revenge on them. Gonna put my best team out there for this one. I uh, want to have the best chance of getting getting them beat. But without further ado, guys, let's play the second game of this episode. Welcome to the Emirates Stadium. Let's go, the and Emirates the Stadium. Want to get a little bit more Avenger off Arsenal Gunners. for the last Arsenal. time we faced them. We went ahead in that match as well, but we just crumbled at the end. That's what we did a lot at the end of last season. We went ahead, and then we just slapped off. We just couldn't defend. We just need to get do that more. That's what I was worried about against the West Ham game right at the end. But Tete, who I think was one of the guys who actually scored against me in that game as well, so we've got to watch him. I would say Emerson Royale is back in the squad after he played in the last match, but he didn't play in the one I played against West Ham. So we'll see. We'll have a little look at the Arsenal team. Let's see if there's any changes. Still in goal, Mesrari's in there, Major Pan from Mero and I'm not really sure who that is. Torreira Melin Nas, okay. Tete Joseph Willick and Bakisaka, that's a pretty good midfield. And Musa Dembele. Interesting. We've got people like Zaniolo Hernandez and all that on the bench. And obviously my team is Thank you for my best at eleven. State. Let's get into this game, Enjoy guys. Try and, I want to try and keep up the pressure on them, but also try and keep our shape as well. It's one thing I feel like we didn't do right. I'm so royal. Oh, that's a really good ball by Dan Juma that for Tony. Straight down the, the throat for Dixon. Jesus, how from the behind me did he manage to get that? And fuck's sake, Don Juma just went round past that, but he gets it back. Mesrari, get away from me, you fucking cunt! Get out, get out of my face! And my God, Don Juma might be on here. And Don Juma's there. He gets the first goal. He fucked up to give him the possession back. But then he got it straight back and just ran around him. Dan Juma, when he wants to, he can be an absolute beast. He honestly can. Dan Juma, what a stand up and get an applause. Masrari couldn't even keep up with him. And then Mavropanos, I don't know what he was doing. He was just standing there. He actually cut off Mesrari. And that, I thought I put that way too hard, but I don't know. I just hit it at the right point. And Dan Juma gets his first goal of the season. And we get the lead. That's usually when we're out of our most vulnerable, is when we score. See, I don't mind them playing like that. If they're going back and forwards because they can't get through our lines. Oh my god, what a stop! And that's another stop, brilliant from Dixon. Oh, fuck's sake, sucker. Come on. Oh, my God. They still got the ball back. Van fuck is offside. Jesus Christ. Three or four tackles there. Just went straight to them. Oh, Tony nearly got on that. That, oh, my God. I don't know what the hell they're doing at the back there. But they are just allowing 
Uh, try and get someone. Yeah, get him. Tony! Tony! Oh, he just flashes between the near post. So close. Tony's really good in the air when you can get it because he's such a tall, like, tall guy now. Oh, Danjuma Dan putting on skills right now. Danjuma! Oh my god! What an absolute brilliant solo goal by Arp Danjuma! Come on! Groinevel Danjuma gets the goal, his second of the day, right from kickoff. He just, he did a little bit of a skill to get past his first man, but then he went round the sides, a little bit of a cutback. No one challenging him, then it's a beautiful finish. And that is what I'm talking about, and Jesus Christ, that's one's still injured. I may have to bring him off. Let me have a look, is he actually injured? Fuck, um, did Emerson play left back hole? No, he can't. Oh no, what, what's uh, same as? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna bring Laird on. I don't want to. I don't want to risk Session Young being out longer than he needs to. He's so gonna have to bring off Session Young. He's got a bandit on up for you, but me taking him off now will save him. Dominguez! Oh! Oh, and Lotman touched it. Fuck's sake, I want him to pull it back. And Carlo Inacio. And use Timber. That's brilliant play between Danjuma and Marlon. And, Ma and Danjuma is there. And Danjuma is going to complete after. after first hat trick for Huddersfield Town for him at least what I've got with him this is his first hat trick for Huddersfield Town and possibly his first Premier League hat trick in all time and it's just been an absolute joy to play, use, him, use him in this game so far he's so good when you get him going three goals all come today a hat trick and that should automatically seal the results oh Really work. Oh, so close. So close to a brilliant goal. Yeah, and then I was going to get a, a yellow card as well. I'm going to make some subs anyway. Upman. Oh, Fernandez has still got it. A brilliant finish by Fernandez. Oh, he's got always that in his locker, and now it's becoming a thrashing. Fernand we are just playing with, with Arsenal at this point. They have just lost their heads. They can't keep the ball, and we are really, really putting them to the sword in this game. Look at this. He just picks up. No one coming out for him. And again, it's a brilliant finish. All about what I was saying in the first game we played about we need to be more clinical. That is what we've done in this, in this game. We've been so clinical. We've probably less less chances as well. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Go. No, come on, let it go. What a five. But it doesn't matter, four nil plus a clean sheet. At least the only time we've scored, we've conceded, it is in a game against bloody Sheffield United. The two other games that have been harder, we've beaten them both. And Dan Juma goes and gets the match ball, richly deserved. Come on, boys. So anyway, let's get into this game. We'll be simulating with our second team. This is basically what my second team, and to be honest, you can tell how far we'll come. This would probably be a good team for like in the championship. But it's even, hopefully we should get the job done against Grimsby. Please don't mess up. And we don't with 3-1. Wow, Borowski as well gets a double on his debut. 
Dan Juma as well. So that's four four goals in two games for him. He's obviously come on. He went on my starting eleven for that second team. So has it been drawn yet? That's what I want. Yes, it has. And here is our group, ladies and gentlemen. So we have Marseille, FC Michelin, and Panathinaikos. Panathi. Oh my God. Pana. I'm gonna call him Pana. So Michelin, Pana, and Marseille. That is an interesting group. I feel like we should get out of that. I feel like obviously Marseille is probably going to be the harder one out of them. I don't really know much about Michelin at this point or Pana. I really don't know. I don't even. I mean, Michelin. I forgot. I know Man United played them a few years ago, and I forgot what what country they're from. I don't know if it's Belgium, maybe. It may be Belgium or Norway. Well, it, it actually sounds Norway to be honest. But either way. So that is our team. Who else is in this? Uh, any big teams? Chelsea's in this. Um, Porto, PSV, Ajax, Sporting CP. Any other big teams? Napoli. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I really think we've got a big chance of of winning this 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 competition if we really go at it. And to be honest, Premier League and the Europa League is the two big things we're gonna be doing. Um, I was gonna play this game honestly because it's a it's a rival game, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to visual sim it and just hope for the best. And because I do want to win this game, since it's a rival game. So if if it looks like I need to jump in, I will. Marlon, finish it! Oh, I don't know if he tried to chip him there. Come on. Marlon. Yes, Luckman! Come on! Brilliant work. If it gets to about two goals, I'll probably quick sim to the end. But I want to make sure the result. Royale's on the on the run. Luckman, Tony. Yeah, you know what? I'm hoping. Please. And it is brilliant. It doesn't seem like anything else, but it happened after that. But Tony gets his first goal of the season, and we get a two 0 win over our rivals. I was going to play it. What I probably will do, I'll probably play the the reverse picture against them at uh, Ellen Road, because uh, Ellen Road is actually in the game, so I'll probably play that one. But we are fifth place right now. That is really good. Uh, Rainer's a bit upset that I've left him out, but he's going to play absolutely plenty this season. Okay, guys. So, two Shemeni didn't work. So, the only other two I could go for is Zuba Mendy. And I also found uh, Matthias Nunes, who I actually was going to go for before I went for Dominguez. He was someone I actually was interested in. He's 25 years of age, 8 overall, so very well rounded. Not going to be an absolute game changer or anything, but he generally could be. He's only one. He's about the same age as my, my midfielders right now. We could swap a player for him. Um, I think I'm going to go... I'd prefer Nunes over Zumbendi, Zubamendi, but uh, I've got my backup of Zubamendi if I, I can't get Nunes. I'm probably going to do the same and try and swap to Folo. Um, but because he's significantly cheaper than Tushimendi, hopefully, it depends on if you want him. If you want him... Um, it's off uh, 14 plus to follow. Okay, they're willing to negotiate, but. Let's try 15. They're really sticking to that number. It's disappointing I, not, I had no transfer offers for to follow. I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of forgot about it. I'll be honest. I kind of forgot he was there. Uh, 60 is probably the highest I can go. We're, af we're asking for double. We're going to have to walk away. I think Zuberman is going to be the one we're going to go after. Um, see, someone like Gonzalez is someone I'd love to go for eventually. I think he'd be a great central midfielder, but 
Um, that's not going to happen right now. So Zumba Mendy is going to be the guy I go after. Also, he has a really, really cheap wage. And I feel like he could be a very good rotational player. 13.5 million. I think he'll be worth it. Let's, um... I'm going to try and get him bang on his value. Ha! Ha! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm willing to work with you here about this. 1.5 plus to follow. Okay. Uh, I, I'd like that. I'd like that release cause that, that to be down a little bit. 10%. Oh, uh, I'm not arguing over 1%. Let's do that. Defoe's got to go the other way. We've got to only pay an extra 2 million. So we still have over 10 million to spend if we want to in January. Plus, I need it for Youth Academy and stuff like that and contracts. So that's good enough for me. Uh, let's go and just get him a contract sorted out. Obviously, we're getting all our stuff done before deadline day as well, so it's uh, it's got to get all sorted out. Uh, rotation. I mean, I'm glad as well that in FIFA 22 there's going to be new cutscenes for career mode and stuff and transfer positions and all that stuff, so I'm really happy about that. Well, I could do. I could try and get a, a backup left back. What's good enough? Um, let's offer thirty. Okay. I'm glad they didn't just walk out, but I'll accept that. Pretty cheap anyway. But that's really good. Zoom back. Super Mendy is in. Look at that. That is brilliant business. I think we've signed four players. Emerson is our big, big side, and obviously he cost us. A bomb of a 50 million pounds but if you look at his value he's 43 overall 43 million sorry in value he's 84 overall 24 still he's got so much room to grow Renier he cost us 27 million a little bit over his value but he's still 21 he can grow super many 24 still can grow Borowski got for free honestly I think we've done really good business do you know what I'm actually gonna go in for his Luke Thomas fella I was going to sign him early in, in the career mode, so you know what? I'm going to see if I can get him. <coughs> it could be a great signing for us. Got 40 million, we should be able to get him pretty easily. Oh, I should have asked, offered less. Oh, he's under last year's contract, I probably could have got him for 8 or 9, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Got to offer him that. 75 overall as well, he, and he's 22. We're getting some young players in who are decently rated, who can easily get higher. That is the point, and I'm really happy. And that's two, we signed two players now. Uh, Zoom Bender, that's the cutscene as well for Z Super Bendy as well, so that's really good. We'll see if we're getting more transfer offers, but I doubt we're going to get much. Man United are coming in for our uh, midfielder Koku. Absolutely not. Get the hell away from him. He's been brilliant since we, we brought him in. It's been a godsend. Four hours to go. Is some of these loan offers going to go through? I hope so, because we could do with some of these loan players just going away and getting on loan. One more hour. Got one email. Uh, that's got to be Andrax. Either it's failed or it's gone through. One or two. And Andreax is loaned out brilliant. Why is it? If it seems like if after every single transfer window, Ethan Leg comes gets a bloody loan offer. Like, book him off, leave him alone. Get him away from him. He's not going anywhere. Our eight hundred eight hundred and sixty million pounds was spent on deadline day. That's mad. So let's have a little look at the youth academy. Let's see what's going on there. Um nothing absolutely crazy, but this guy Looks like he's got crazy potential, but I don't think he's going to be somewhat amazing for us because he's 48 overall. He's got a lot to bloody grow to get anywhere near it. Probably his Dodds is probably the best one we've got in there. No. Eh, 6-6. Six, six, looks alright.
Joe Hope, keep him in there. Swift, no. Wyatt. Charles, 6'4. 15 years of age, Jesus. Stevens, no. Terry, no. Uh, yeah, you get in there as well, Hope. We'll fill up the youth academy a little bit. But there it is, that's the first month of the Premier League season done. We sit in fifth place with nine points, three wins out of four. We lost the stupid one in what was the sim game, but we actually won a sim game technically against Leeds. What is brilliant to see. We're still in the cup. We we know our group for the Europa League. The team is coming along so, so nicely. I'm very, very happy the way it's coming out. Um, but I'm very happy we've got two new players who we'll be playing with in the next next episode I'm sure I'm sure we'll get a get a debut somewhere in there obviously they're both a bit low rate so we're gonna be in the reserves for now we're both on sporadic team roles as well so it's fine but either way guys thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel put that bell icon on so you know exactly when a new part is coming out thank you so much for watching guys till next time I've been a whole car punisher and I am out <laughs>